Dear colleagues, welcome to my workplace at Ranakhat, West Bengal, India. Let us see this routine phaco surgery. The patient is obese, more than 100 kg body weight, and the patient is the surgery is under topical anesthesia. This is the main incision with the 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. On the posterior aspect of the limbus, there is some oozing of blood. This is phenocaine, which contains gyalocaine, tropic, tropicamide, and phenylephrine. Then visco, that is 2 percent HPMC, is injected into the anterior chamber and it is applied over the cornea for better visibility. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away and now capsular excess is to be done. Uh, Utrita forceps is taken, the anti-capsule is punctured, a capsular tag is raised and this capsular tag is guided anticlockwise all around to get an adequate size axis of about 5.5 millimeter. And now this is hydrodissection and the nucleus is rotated. Some more visco. The nuclear sclerosis in this case is about grade 4, maybe grade 3 plus, but the nucleus is quite hard, not a grade 3 soft cataract. Now see the direct chop, some superficial lens matter is removed and now the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus, it goes through the nucleus for some distance and then the nucleus is chopped. Rotate the nucleus 180 degree. And now this semi nucleus is sealed and it is chopped. And this free nuclear piece is emulsified. And then the other nuclear piece is divided into two smaller pieces and then they are emulsified. Whenever followability is less, I remove the chopper and the followability increases. And this is the other heminucleus uh, vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury and this is the last piece of nucleus emulsifying the last piece at the same vacuum that is 450 arsenic energy was 75 percent and flow rate 45 ml per minute. And now this thick epinuclear shell it is being drawn with 450 vacuum and now the vacuum is reduced to 350. And now we have some cortex, some more visco. And now a uh, Simco cannula is taken 23 gauze Simco and the cortical matter is removed. The advantage of Simco is that it keeps more control, more safe and an SIC surgeon is used to this instrument. So, it does not have to take the challenge of another set of instruments that is bimanual irrigation aspiration. But in course of time, we have to learn use of bimanual irrigation aspiration. This is the irrigating probe of bimanual IA. It is being used to polish the posterior capsule, the aspirating probe is not used 
And now the main wound is enlarged a little bit. The main wound was 2.8 millimeter. It is about 3 millimeter now. And then a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. The irrigating probe is introduced to the main wound and whatever viscous there in the lumen of the cartridge comes out. So hydro implantation saves a lot of time and there is no visco so the risk of visco induced rise of intraocular pressure is removed or eliminated. And then this is a bit of moxifloxacin. And then the side port is closed, only one side port was there. If we use bimanual irrigation aspiration, we need two side ports. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is lavaged and then the anterior chamber is nicely formed so that the intraocular pressure is on the higher side. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.